Um, my question is that uh, for all of you, the man manager has a lot of things have to do, always should be. But the manager is also the be, being the human, and he also has the personal life. So, uh, do you think that uh, there is the the unfair for him? Okay. Because a lot of things have to uh, should be, should be, should be. And it's an unreal. The truth is unreal in, in our life. Okay, uh, let's, take, let's talk about the, the personal life of the manager. Uh, it's true that the manager uh, should influence the organization. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's up to the manager to be humble so that his personal life may not affect too much the organization. That's why we put a little body. The body is very little. So it's kind of uh, uh, decreasing uh, the influence of his personal life over the organization. Something like uh, I mean that how, how they can balance or nothing like that. So all is about right wisdom. The wisdom to, to use uh, your some some factor in your personal life to influence, some good factors, elements in your own personal life to influence and surprise. And then when uh, you have to take to make decisions that will engage all the institution, it should not it shouldn't be personal. It should be it should be based on information, not on on emotion. What would you give a difference between top manager and the middle or even lower level manager, except for the words <coughs> that in front of the manager in front of the manager. Anyways. The difference between top, top manager and middle or low level manager. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna keep focus on the question. Okay, uh, I I believe that the, the top managers uh, can be the person that give orientation to the organization, and everything depends on uh, the structure of the organization. Uh, if you are in bureaucracy, the top manager is the boss, and he should have. He should only the, the the only person that have the skills and that can make decisions. Okay. So if you are uh, more flexible in your structure, like uh, horizontal linkage, and the middle manager could be, uh, I can say that he's a leader. So if you, I I can draw something for you. Of course. You can have. The top manager here, okay, with the to define the strategy and uh, try to lead the whole organization, and we can have the middle manager here, and we can have the team. I can say that the middle manager can oversee the activities of each team through a team leader. So I think that uh, the responsibility can be shared uh, between the top manager and the middle manager in terms of uh, roles and functions. So uh, everything depends on the kind of organization, the kind of structure you have. Thank you. Okay, uh, how can you define bad skills? Like, the communication, so, yeah, as, um, people need that word with them, so you can ask people to do something, so you can use a bad skills. No, or you can ask people to add them to Okay, uh, let me try to understand your, your question. Uh, for us, uh, <coughs> skills is, is all about uh, knowledge, the ability of the manager to do something uh, either uh, technical or interpersonal, something like this. I, I want you to be more specific. So, yeah, the skills. Are you talking about uh, technical skills? No, not technical skills. Interaction and 
invention and the reorganization. So the manager maintains or interact between the people who <coughs> work with. Okay, I think that if I understand the question, uh, these skills should be uh, interpersonal. So all the manager can can uh, manage conflicts within the organization. Is right. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I can say that if, if the manager uh, is unable to, to manage conflicts within the organization, I think that uh, it should be very, very bad for, for this organization. And in the future, maybe this organization will be disintegrated. Uh, I remember. I'm sorry. So uh, I think that uh, as a manager, uh, you cannot choose what kind of skills is most important. Uh, everything depends on the situation to which the organization uh, has been going to. Okay. So uh, if the organization is facing something like uh, a problem that uh, requires uh, technical skills, so and the manager could help, it's very good. And if the organization is facing some kind of situation, uh, some conflicts within uh, member, among members. So uh, I think that the interpersonal skills of the manager is important. So everything is relative and depends on what kind of situation uh, the organization is facing. Okay, uh, I take a last question. The last question may be, uh, okay. How, uh, how do we I think that it's okay, it, it's very good to read, to, to go take in some training, it's very good to do this. So experience is, uh, is very important for, for the manager. That's why uh, in, in many job description they, they required uh, five years of experience. Okay, thank you very much. And